What's up, my niggas and niggas? We got the latest news coming out of Nicki Minaj's camp with the investigation into her father's death. And we also got some comical information about your boy Tory Lanez, where I'm trying to tell y'all that black Twitter is undefeated. We're going to get into it. Oh, yeah, and your boy Boosie catching all kinds of heat from black Twitter, also coming at Steve Harvey's daughter. And we're going to get into it right after this. niggas and niggas so police are saying out of new york that they made an arrest of a driver who allegedly struck and killed robert mirage the father of rapper Nicki minaj last week on long island nassau county police detective lieutenant stephen fitzpatrick said on wednesday that charles povich 70 was arrested after turning himself in povich faces charges for leaving the scene of a deadly automobile accident and taking measures to hide or disguise distinctive 1992 white volvo station wagon from authorities Fitzpatrick said adding that police tracked it before and after the accident using security footage we kind of tracked it right to his house Fitzpatrick said Povich owns a home in Manolo New York on Long Island but resides in Guam the U.S. territory for Western Pacific Fitzpatrick said Nicki Minaj did not immediately respond to comment and rightfully so this woman just lost her father to a horrific accident he was walking alongside a road in Long Island and somebody just came along and just ran him over so I can imagine the horror and the heartache that Nicki Minaj how she felt about her dad and they had a strange relationship but yet when something like this happened all bets is off you can't really even imagine something like that happening to your father so all our shouting all our love and all our prayers go out to the Nicki Minaj family and Nicki keep your head up and uh we support you all right now let's move on to something more lighthearted with your boy Tory Lane this guy is catching all kinds of heat Twitter is undefeated black Twitter is undefeated yeah so I'm quite sure y'all done heard about this yeah the boy Tory Tory Lanez came out playing basketball and his top was off literally this boy had a shaggy carpet it looked like the doggone cat with his uh, top shot off and Twitter is going in major on him and basically what Twitter is saying is that they he caught more flack for this than he caught for shooting at a female which I think I kind of feel the same way because I don't think that guy got his just do yet for shooting a female because that's one thing that around here the more of more hip-hop news we do not condone violence against women especially not shooting them so that's it, it, he getting his just do with this tear the ball apart because he need more and we got some footage of him with dj academics and we gonna let y'all see it and tell me what y'all think about it how he evading the question all right let's get into it hey, yo, yo tory this yo, is my nigga two, look, look, look. his name is 250 me please it's 250 a cup 250 me please <laughs> what do you think this is Yo, Tory, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was about, I was just about to tell you that Boosie just hit me and said he banned from the Boosie game, bro. But oh, you might fuck all that. Fuck all that. Are you hearing the shit in the background? I hear it, man. I hear the sweet this sound. It's dropping crazy. tomorrow, nigga. It's dropping tomorrow? It's my new single. It's dropping tomorrow. It's going crazy. I need to see some dance moves. I've seen you doing the dance moves on the hour. You know what I mean? I need to see it's that. It's R&B season. It's R&B season. I had to cut it down, I had to get it right for the RB, you know what I'm saying? It is RB season. It's, 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 it's snowing in Texas, man. It's RB season. That's time. It's RB season. You're right. You're right. I, I can't hear you, bro. I can't hear you. I, I said it's snowing in Texas. But I'm going to call you back tonight at the shush hour. We need you judging that tonight. I'm going to see you, bro. I'm going to see you. Yeah, we're going to see you. Yeah, we're going to see you. Yeah, we're going to see you. So as y'all see, the boy Tory Lanez want no smoke when it's coming to talk about his top being blown off. Yeah. The guy looks like a character, but um, we know what time it is. He's getting his just due for shooting the girl, Meg the Stallion. And we know how karma is, man. It comes around, so he getting his just due. So continue to clown him if y'all don't lock him up for shooting Meg the Stallion, which I say he should be in jail for. But that's just my opinion, and you got yours and I got mine. But hit me in the comments section, all right? And we're going to get on to the boy Boozy. All right, so basically the situation with Boozy is he was on Vlad TV and was asked some questions about Laura Harvey, and he basically responded in a manner of she's been around, she's been touched by so many guys in the industry, and would you respect her and would you wife her? And basically Black Twitter is at it again. They came out with their claws 
calls out Pack and Boozy saying Boozy is doing too much and let this girl live and she is who she is. Basically, this is the way society is accepting things today. And basically, to be short, I'm on Boozy's side. I don't, I don't respect it. You know what I mean? I think a woman should definitely hold herself for marriage and be respectable of herself because in the future it could come back to haunt her. So just to be promiscuous, to basically be a gold digger or searching around, you know, looking for love in all the wrong places and you just getting passed around from man to man. And of course, these men know each other. So, you know, to go on from that. Boosie just continued to, you know, double down on what he was saying. And I got the video on that. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about it. And hit me in the comments after, you know, y'all watch it. And let me know what y'all seriously think about this. Because this is a serious debate. And I take it seriously. So, tell me what y'all think. I just said y'all got it fucked up saying that's gold. If you saying that's gold, that means you want your daughter to fuck seven or eight, nine niggas in a couple months. In the industry. If that's gold, if that's cool with you, for your daughter doing that, then I can't say shit. But what's wrong with y'all motherfuckers is, y'all salute the woman who get passed around, but y'all dog the woman who stick by they nigga when they nigga fuck over. Y'all dog the real bitches who stick by they nigga. You heard me? But y'all salute the bitches who go from hand to hand. The world fucked up, but the woman who stick by her nigga, find her one nigga, find her one celebrity and stick by that nigga, she stupid. All right, so there it is, my niggas and niggas. Y'all got the evidence, so tell me what y'all think. Like I said, me, basically, I think Boozy is right on this one. He's catching too much flack. All he's saying is is that a chick shouldn't be passed around from man to man, regardless, especially in the entertainment industry, because you get a name quick and you lose a lot of respect. So, But what I didn't like is that how he went after Michael B. Jordan that y'all didn't see in that clip, and he called him a simp. And we all know what a simp is, in case y'all don't. Know a simp is a weak dude who falls victim to these type of women, but I just hope that this doesn't get out of hand because I'm quite sure that uh, Boozy don't want no problems with the boy from Black Panther. The niggas a beast, and uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're gonna um, we're gonna get to the comments and see what y'all think about it. And like I said, hit me up in the comments, subscribe if y'all liking the content, and just keep coming back for more because I'm gonna keep putting it out. And y'all got to check in and let me know what y'all think and like this and 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 hit the subscribe button and hit the bell it don't cost you nothing to subscribe all right this is a more for more hip-hop news tv remember a more world needs more